be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep no more and by a sleep say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep, to sleep. The chance to dream Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of disprized love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would these fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly door with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pitch and moment, with this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Nymph, in thy orisons be all my sins remembered. Good my lord, how does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you. Well, well, well. My lord. I have remembrances of yours that I have longed long to re-deliver. I pray you, now receive them. No. No. I never gave you aught. My honored lord, you know right well you did. Take these again, for to the noble mind, rich gifts wax poor when givers prove unkind. There. My lord. <laughs> Are you honest? My lord. Are you fair? What means, your lordship? That if you be honest and fair, your honesty should admit no discourse to your beauty. Could beauty, my lord, have better commerce than with honesty? Aye, truly. For the power of beauty will sooner transform honesty from what it is to a bawd than the force of honesty can translate beauty into his likeness. This was sometime a paradox. But now the time gives it proof. I did 
love you once. <gasps> Indeed, my lord, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. For virtue cannot so inoculate our old stock, but we shall relish of it. I loved you not. I was the more deceived. Get thee to a nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I am myself indifferent, honest, but yet I could accuse me of such things that it were better my mother had not borne me. I'm very proud, revengeful, ambitious, <laughs> with more offenses at my back than I have thoughts to put them in. Imagination to give them shape or time to act them in. What should such fellows as I do, crawling between heaven and earth? We are Aaron's knaves all. Believe none of us! Go thy ways to a nunnery! Where is your father? At home. My lord. Let the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Farewell! Oh, help him, you sweet heaven! If thou dost marry, I'll give thee this plague for thy dowry. Be thou as chaste as ice, as pure as snow. Thou shalt not escape calumny. Oh. To a nunnery, go, farewell. Or if thou wilt needs marry, marry a fool. For wise men are well enough with monsters you make of them. To a nunnery, go, and quickly to farewell. Farewell, restore him. I have heard of your paintings, too, well enough. God has given you one face, and you make yourselves another. You jig, you amber, and you lisp, and you nickname God's creatures, and you make your wantonness, your ignorance. Go to! Oh, no more, aunt! It hath made me mad. I say we will have no more marriages. Those that are married already, all but one, shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. Hollow's eye, tongue, sword, the expectancy and rose of the fair state, the glass of fashion and the mold of form, the observed of all observers, quite, quite down. And I have ladies most dejected, wretched, that sucked the honey of his music vows. Now see that noble and most sovereign reason like sweet bells jangled. Out of tune and harsh, that unmatched form and feature of blown youth blasted with ecstasy. Oh, woe is me. To have seen what I have seen. See what I see. <laughs> 